About 1,800 people came to Janesville showing love for a local animal rescue group. Rock County reporter Mario Spann shares more from the Friends of Noah fundraiser. This is Baxter. He was a Friends of Noah dog. Is it okay to pet him? Sure. This dog knows how to work a room. Just about everyone at the Friends of Noah Arctic Art for Animals fundraiser knows Baxter. He was born with three paws, a deformed leg, and a crooked tail. The energetic Border Collie Terrier mix is an alumni of the Friends of Noah adoption program. We're his fifth home in four and a half months. Uh, the people that had him apparently bounced him from home to home. Nobody really wanted him. The All Breed Animal Rescue Group is celebrating their three-year anniversary in March. They host several fundraisers a year to help animals find homes. Right now, Friends of Noah has gotten about 200 animals adopted out. Unlike a traditional shelter, adoptable animals like Mickey will temporarily stay with foster parents like Lori Sullivan. There's a lot of dogs out, of the, out there that need help. So we're looking for foster homes. Generally, a foster dog stays with us about in a foster home about six to eight weeks. Money raised on Saturday also provides vet care and pet food for nine area food pantries. We feed over 750 animals a month, 500 families with 750 animals. That's a lot of animals. So we're always struggling to keep that pipeline full. Was he here last year? Yep. Mm -hmm. I remember him. This time last year, Baxter was in foster care at Gary Johnson's house, but now he's found his forever home. He just loves everybody, loves everybody, cats, dogs, horses, people. His, his attitude was just happy all the time. Margo Spann reporting and Friends of Noah will have another fundraiser in May. Mark your calendars for the 19th at Threshman's Park in Edgerton. We do have more information posted about this organization on our Channel 3000 Facebook page.